I want to tell you one thing about this particular cell here. I can tell you that uh, the whole of this farm, whatever pig you see here, is a descendant of this particular sow you are seeing here. So if you look at the end, ending parts, like the tape aspect, you could see some similarities within all of them. So that will tell you that they all came from this particular sow. And one thing is also that I had, I've never bought any pig or new pig to replace any of my pigs on the farm since I started three years now. And what I've been doing is I always practice what we call the line breeding. That is take related pigs, but not closely related as from the same mother, same father, or within the same litter, no. But you mix them from other litters and breed them. Okay, so that's what I've been doing so far for about three years now. And to date, I've never bought any pig. So usually I get this question asked that, uh, which breed is good, which breed is good, what do I do? I say, me, I don't really look at which breed is good. And for me, my objective is to produce pigs for meat, that is pork. And that is what I am doing exactly on the farm here. All I produce is just for meat. The litter is also good. The mother here, she follows at least 10 piglets, even if she doesn't follow at all, that's 10 piglets. And sometimes so I do lose some of the piglets from the pregnancy. Okay, so if you're going to this, just know your objective. If you are going into breeding, you know what the type of pig to go for. And if you're going in for just meat, you know the type of pigs to go in for. But for me, this is a, it's not a pure breed. These pigs you have here, they are not pure breed. They are cross breeds between the large white and then the land race. So the type of breed doesn't matter. You can buy the most expensive breed or have the most expensive breed on your farm. But with poor farm management practices, you are not going to get the money somebody with bad breed, what you call bad breed, will even make from his pigs. So it all depends on the management practices. Once you get your objectives right on the farm, just go in for the breeder to assist you. So this pig you are seeing here also, it's also pregnant. So so far I have uh, two pregnant sow that I am expecting them to follow within uh, the November month. Okay, as at the time of filming this video, within the November month, I'm expecting them to follow. So after the following two, that is where I will decide to know the number of pigs to sell out of my farm. If they should follow at least 12, 12, with that, I can proudly say I'm going to empty my farm this December. I'll empty all the pigs on the farm and keep the incoming piglets so that I'll raise those ones for the next batch of production. Okay, so all the pigs you see on the farm here, they came directly from this particular woman. Directly or indirectly from this particular woman, uh, and as a result of line breeding, that is what I've been practicing over the years. Okay, so if you have a breed that is not disturbing you and you like what you are getting, you don't have to be in a hurry to go and buy another breed from what people will recommend to you. Get this, it is the best one. Just know that what you have, if it is serving the purpose of your farm, you keep it. That's it.